Are you serious? You here again? Look, this is my home. You can't get in every time you want. It's my privacy. It's my private life. What's the matter? Look, I'm reading The Walking Dead. It is set in a dystopian future, in a post-apocalyptic world. And I felt like reading it these times. Don't ask me why. Anyway, what's the matter with you? Oh, you're struggling with your articles. Then I think that what you need is some lessons in pajamas. Finding your inspiration can be exhausting. It's very easy to suffer writer's block. But I'm gonna try to give you some ideas on how to find cool ideas on the internet and also how to organize them and gather resources for your article. Many of you want to talk about video games. This is cool, all of us like video games, but what about board games? Have you thought about writing about board games? Look, Pandemic. This is one of my favorite board games out there. It's rated as the number one board game of all times right now in the board game geek. Why is it so interesting to talk about Pandemic these days? For obvious reasons. Let me show you what we can do with a board game like this. So the idea is trying to write an article that is appealing and interesting for your audience. So far we have seen here so many interesting ideas. Congratulations guys! But so many of you are not there yet, so I'm gonna try to help you uh, with your inspiration. I have created at the bottom uh, two new cards. The first is Pandemic, the board game, the, the game I just showed you. And we're gonna do some research about it. Why is this game so interesting? Uh, Pandemic, the board game, is here. And as you can see, uh, the first result is the Board Game Geek. This is a very good website for geeks like me. And we're gonna visit in a minute because I'm, I'm looking for the, the official website. Oh, some cool videos. This is also an interesting result. This is going to be my other result. We're gonna use here, the launch trailer. And I'm gonna pause it for the moment. And here it is. This is the official website. Let's have a look. Um, so Pandemic is about a dystopian future in which uh, humanity is overtaken by this pandemic. This is exactly what we are living uh, nowadays. Um, the, the game has many different versions. This is the base game. Uh, with this one you can start playing and it's a fantastic game. This is the version of God, right? This is the premiere edition version because I'm a collector. And there's another version, uh, let's see if we can find it. It's really, really cool. Uh, Pandemic Iberia, this is about the Spanish Peninsula. This is really, really cool, guys. And also, we've got Pandemic Legacy. What is it about? Pandemic Legacy is basically a, a board game uh, that can be played just once. Uh, this is very tricky because, as the description says, actions have consequences from one game to the next as you strive to avert global disaster in this standalone epic twist on Pandemic. Uh, so it's like a season, okay, and you can only play once. Uh, you can play like uh, 10 of these games um, and that's it uh, because your actions have consequences on the game. So I think that this website is very important resource so I'm gonna go back to my card in Trello and I'm gonna add an attachment. Okay and this is the website. I attach it okay and then the attachment is showing the other interesting resource that we've got is the launch trailer. It started with a single outbreak. We don't know how. We don't know why. But by the time we identified the first disease, it was already too late. Wow, this is an incredible trailer. Of course, I'm gonna keep it. So I'm gonna go to the attachments again. Okay, I'm gonna click on the clip. And this is going to be the launch trailer. Okay, so I'm going to save it. 
Uh, as you can see, my first two resources are here. I've got the trailer, I've got the official website. And then I'm going to visit uh, the official um, website that we've got here. As you can see, this board game is for, for two up to four players. And you can also play solo game, which is very interesting, with uh, added instructions that the people have created. And in this website, we've got a lot of information. You can see the boards. This is really, really cool. Okay, so we've got fantastic images. Look at the board. The board is beautiful. I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna keep it because the board is really, really cool. Uh, it, it can be an interesting resource uh, to keep for later. And and. We've got all the information here where you can buy it. Okay, we've got videos of the people uh, doing their reviews. Okay, in the reviews, so we can read more about it. So as you can see, this community, the board game geek, uh, is also very useful for our articles. I'm gonna copy the link. I'm gonna go back to my card, and I am going to. There it goes. And this is a very good start for uh, this article. Hey, by the way, this card is free. No one is using it. Who would be the first in taking it? I give it to you as a, as a prize. And then the second card that, I'm, that I have created is Greta Thunberg's Fridays for Future. All of you know Greta, right? And but what's interesting about her is that she has created this uh, ONG um, uh, trying to raise an awareness about global warming. This is all the information you need about her organization. So right away, this is the first link that we need. So I'll click a clip, attach, and this is her website. There it goes, okay? So now we've got the website, show the card. And, and let's see, Greta is writing about the coronavirus too, and climate activism. And now we have seen this image in the news so many times these days. We've got a music video, I'm sure. Oh, look at this. This is a very interesting resource. It's Greta Thunberg's Twitter account. Of course, we're going to keep this because we can get a lot of information from here. So I'm going to click here. And Twitter. Okay, so we're gonna keep it too. So we already have her Twitter, we have the website of Fridays for Future. And you know what? I know that Fridays for Future have, um, they have uh, these, uh, how can I call them? Um, uh, let me see, where is this? Where's, maybe it's in about, because I'm looking for the contact about Fridays for Future, it's a movement that we don't know. Please help us, donations, uh, interviewing, uh, finding climate strikes, interviewing. Wow, asking her to speak. Look at this. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. So, I suppose that she's very, very busy. And, you know, uh, her email. But, uh, it's not impossible. Why not? So we've got here <laughs> Greta's email, of course, and look at this, contact for media, use country contacts when possible. So I'm gonna go and I'm gonna try to find Spain, uh, here it is, wow, and we've got a Facebook group too, so I'm gonna copy the Facebook group, okay. Uh, this is going to be another interesting link. Uh, Facebook from Spain, okay? Not with that. And also, there was something interesting here, which was an email. Juventud por el clima. Wow, so I'm gonna keep that too. Okay? And maybe I'll send them one email. 
Okay, so as you can see, we've got so much to do research, so much to start. But I'm not working on this card. I'm giving you this card for free. We will be the first in taking it. Hey, be quick. I hope you find my pieces of advice useful. You know what? I'm tired of reading this. It's so sad. Instead, I'm going to start reading Space Dumplings by Craig Thompson. This story is nuts. What are you reading at home anyway? I hope you're reading, guys. Reading helps me travel to different worlds and event reality, in a way. This reminds me that I'm gonna give you your second chance of getting dojo points this week. You have to answer a question in the comments. And this time, the dojo points will be different depending on your answer. I see you in the comments answering the next question. What do you miss the most about being free? See you in the next video.